Sarajji. I'm Rani Shwastar and in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can set up call centers in your Yakin databases. But before moving forward, I would like to discuss what are call centers and what's the purpose of them. So, call centers are important for budgeting and financial management because they help us track expenses and income of an organization. So, let's move forward by setting up call centers in our Yakinix. As you can see, this is the on screen of Yakunet, from here you can navigate to accounting and in accounting module you will navigate to chart of cost center under cost center and budget and tab. As you can see the different cost centers that have been already established. For adding a new cost center you need to click on the add cost center button. From here, you need to fill out the important details such as cost center's name. As for the cost center name, I'll name it as Digital Marketing. You can also mention the number if you have a number for your cost center. Parent cost center basically depends upon the company. Since I have chosen the KN Info System, I'm going to put the cost center under KN Info System KI. As a charge mark. You can also make this cost center as a group mode by enabling this is group checkbox. You can also disable this cost center by enabling this disable checkbox. Filling out the mandatory details, let's save this cost center. As you can see, we have created the digital marketing cost center. And if you want to see the tree of this cost center or under which pairing cost center this digital marketing cost center lies, you can easily go ahead and by just clicking on the chart of cost centers. From here, you will need to select your required company under which you have created your cost center. As I have created my cost center under CAN Info System, I am going to select CAN Info System company. And just by expanding all the cost center, I can see that my digital marketing cost center is under the CAN Info Systems KI parent cost center. You can also collapse this chart of cost center. You can view chart of accounts if you want from this cost center tree also. You can also add a new cost center by just clicking on the new button by filling out the details. You can create a new cost center. As we have already created a cost center, now we move forward and see how we can build this cost center to different transactions. Let's take a scenario. By creating a sales mode for a marketing campaign, we are going to sell our digital marketing services and we will track our revenue generated under the digital marketing cost center. So, let's move forward by creating our sales invoice. You can always navigate to your sales invoice or any other uh, transaction by going to the main dashboard under its particular module. Now move forward by adding a sales invoice. Fill out all the mandatory details that are required for this. Let's say company name, customer name. Payment due date. Under our accounting dimension, you need to mention your cost center so that it might be able to you track your revenue from this cost center. Add your item, the required quantity, the rate. After filling out the details, click on save. As you can see, our sales invoice is generated with the paid status and if you want to see its ledger in order to track its cost center you can go and view its ledger and in the ledger you will see all other details now let's move forward with our next scenario let's create a journal entry to record an expense associated with our digital marketing efforts 
Suppose we spend 500 on an online ad campaign and we want to allocate this cost to the digital marketing cost center. So navigate to the main dashboard of the ERP and from here we will navigate to our accounting module. We will create a journal entry. As you can see, there are different types of journal entries. You can choose the required journal entry which you want to create. For this, I am choosing journal entry. You can also select the template if you have already created. Now moving forward, we'll select our account name. Here I'm taking advertising expense. Let's give it 500. You can also mention party type or party if you have. Here I'm choosing bank account. You need to ensure that your debit and credit amount should be equal in order to calculate the total difference. And under the accounting entries table for each account, you need to fill the cost center under your accounting dimension. You need to do for both the accounts. Once filling out all the essential details, click on save. Always double check your entries before submitting. Once you have submitted, you can see you have created an advertising expense journal entry. You can also view its ledger in order to verify which cost center you have been using to record the expenses of this journal entry. Here you can see in the cost center. It's digital marketing. And that's it. See, it's that easy to create a cost center and link it to a transaction in the app index. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel. If you have any query, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.